Podcast, Lazy here. And Sierra. And today we're bringing you guys a brand new series that we want to come up with, and it's called Rate That Recipe. <laughs> yeah, it's called Rate That Recipe. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to be doing with this series, basically, all we're going to do is going to grab random recipes off the internet, recipes that we may come up with, or recipes that you send in. And what we're going to do is make it, try it out, eat it, and tell you if it's good or not. So today we are making strawberry shortcake lasagna. I've never heard of that before, but I love strawberry shortcake. So I guess we're going to see if it tastes good today. Can't lose. So without further ado, let's jump into the ingredients. The first and most important ingredient, strawberries. Two boxes of vanilla wafers. Powdered sugar. Four cups of heavy whipping cream, one pint each, and vanilla extract. For our cooking materials, you'll need measuring cups and measuring spoons for your teaspoons and everything. A whisk it can be handmade or it can be a machine whisk, doesn't matter a mixing bowl for all your mixing needs and a pan of course with uh yeah two spatulas and you're good to go so how we're going to start off is she's going to do some cutting and i'm going to do some cutting make sure you clean your fruits, guys. If you don't clean your fruits, you might be eating something that you really don't want to be eating. Oh my God! What is that? Also, make sure to, that your all your dishes have been cleaned first and that you wash your hands. So make sure that you're cutting your strawberries like this because you have to do little slices. What I'm doing over here is cutting the tops off all the strawberries just to make life a lot easier for her over here. And don't mind our utensils right now, guys. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, you know what I'm saying, grade A platinum over here, man. We getting it done over here, man. So yeah, basically all you have to do is just slice the strawberries, cut off the green part. So we're gonna go ahead and speed through this part for you guys so you don't have to watch us do a bunch of slicing. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is the finished product. <laughs> and now we're finished with the prep phase and we'll be moving on into the next part of the thing. Yep. First up, what we'll be doing is... So, okay, so the first step is you have to get a large bowl and you're gonna use your whisk to mix together heavy whipping cream which is going to be um four cups and this is a pint and a pint is equal to two cups so we're just doing two pints of heavy whipping cream then you have to do one half cup of powdered sugar and then um two teaspoons of vanilla extract and all three of those are going to go into this bowl make sure your bowl is pretty big because this is a lot of stuff. So you said half a cup? Yes, one half a cup. Okay. This is a lot of whipping cream for like a half a cup. Like, like, like a little bit, bro. Like, hey, that's fine. Look how big a half a cup is. And then like, look how much whipping, bro, you can't even like see it on camera. Like, I'm trying to turn it, but of course you still can't see it. It's so much in here, bro. Yeah, but that's because the, the heavy whipping cream is going to be like, it's going to turn into um, whipped cream. Like, mm -hmm. you buy in a tub container. Mm -hmm. This is just the, like, natural way to make it if you want to hand make it. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can just go buy Cool Whip and just layer the Cool Whip. Yeah. Make sure, guys, that when you measure, to make it easier, just... Shake the bowl so it doesn't pile on top. And you have to make sure it's full to the top, otherwise it's not a half cup. It's our full Here, just do it over this.
Cool. Half cup of sugar. You want me to just pour it? Mm-hmm. And then... And now we whisk it, right? I need the vanilla extract. The vanilla extract. Two Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. All these were washed before we prepped, guys. It's super important to wash all your stuff. So how many teaspoons? Two um, teaspoons? Yeah, this two is, teaspoons. This so is, look for one. This, this is, is one. one. That's oh. a teaspoon or a tablespoon. That's, That's a teaspoon. teaspoon. So just do two of them. Oh. Just so you guys know, vanilla extract by itself, if you've never tried it, does not taste good at all. At all. <laughs> okay, so... We don't have an electrical hand mixer because we're in college. So we don't have all those kitchen utensils. So we're using a whisk. So he's going to have to whisk this really fast. If you are using a whisk, you have to do it really, really fast because you need to be able to cre create peaks in the ingredients so that it can become a whipping cream. Yeah. We so if you have a hand mixer, use it. It's way easier. Yeah. Basically, so I'm about to whisk this up and we'll catch on in a few minutes. Yeah, get the sides because the powder sugar is all on the sides. That's not good. Oh, boy. It's so fast. Well, it's kind of splat. I think you're supposed to do it like this. Yes. Like, see, now I'm hit. I ain't gonna lie, in my head, like I feel like I'm going really fast, but I'm looking at myself, looking at how fast the whisk is actually turning. And it's really not. That's why I'm saying, that's why I'm saying go faster. <laughs> Buy a hand mixer. Don't use this. That's what I was saying. Don't <laughs> do it. Don't. It's not worth it, man. It's gonna take forever. Bro. We should have just got a hand mixer. Yeah, we should have got a hand mixer. I told you we could still be done. I told, I told you it could still be done though. Yeah, freaking yeah, getting it done. Getting to Cuba can be done, but it's faster if you freaking take a it's, plane. Yeah, but you can still swim. If you really, really want to get there, you can swim. I'm going to show you guys how far we've gotten. So after about 10 minutes of whisking, this is what it looks like. It's, it's not thick. It's not super thick yet, but, but it's, it's, it's getting it's, there. Yeah, Cause getting before there. it was like liquid like water. Yeah, it was like very liquidy. So, you know, uh, I guess about a, another 20 minutes or so hand whisking and we should be good. You just gotta spin it really fast. Really, really fast. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to see this bro. Like, I'm gonna have to show you like, look. Like remember how before when I when I show you it looked like it was like watery, but look at it now. It's literally I, I can't even believe that like a drink can do that. You know what I'm saying? First time user of heavy whipping cream. First time, like it's unbelievable. Like, okay. Guys, we're starting to get some peaks. Gotta do a little more. Let's see you can go the fastest for the longest, okay? Alright, so as soon as I start, count for more. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. You're not supposed to count like that. You're supposed to be like, one, right. two, one. Wu Bei! Come on, bro. Stop playing. I want to see it go fast. Alright, alright, alright. Right. Just do one, one thousand, two, right. one thousand, okay? One, one thousand. <laughs> Stop playing, bro. Alright, alright. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Four one thousand. Okay, you know what? I don't have to five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten one thousand, eleven one thousand. I don't think it can be whipped anymore, bro. Like I think it's finished. I think we might have messed it up. These are peaks. It don't even look good no more. That's why you need a hand. Yeah, let's just stop. <laughs> <laughs> like, Guys, we messed it up, bro. Stop, like, this is definitely not what you wanted to look yeah, like. So it looks really like cottage like, cheese. Yeah. So um, this is what it looks like when you over whip it. Just just whip it regular when you do it. Yeah. Use a hand mixer, guys. Yeah. 
So now that we finished the whipping part, on to the next part of the recipe. Okay, step two. Now we have to assemble the lasagna in your pan. So the first layer is going to be a thin layer of whipped cream. So you take your little use this one. Take your little spatula, get some whipped cream, and put a thin layer on the bottom. Just spread it out. Boom! Ah! There it goes. Okay. So now, after you put your thin layer of after you put your thin layer of cream, you're gonna put a layer of vanilla leaf. Okay. You take this side, I'll take this side. Just give me a box. Don't put it in my jab, boy. Place it. So you don't need two boxes of vanilla wafers. One box will do the job. Depending on how big the pan is that you're making it in. Okay. So for the next layer, we're going to put another layer oh. of whipped cream. And this one is going to be a little thicker. Thick as we can or something? No, because we still have to... Okay, so now that we completed that, when you finish, it should look like nothing exists under the whipped cream. Okay, <clears throat> what's the next part? Okay, so next, we're going to top it with a layer of strawberries. Okay, so when you make yours, get, get six cups. Yeah, get six pints. Get six cups. I mean, yeah, six pints. Get six pints. Yeah. So the second time around, uh, we're, we're not going to fully cover it because... It has to be a thin layer anyways. Yeah, it has to be a little thin layer anyways. Okay, so pack them nice and tight, baby. So now you do... Your layer of strawberries. Look, we would have had more strawberries if we wouldn't have eaten all Bro, there's no space for no more anyways. Yes, there is. Okay, now let's crush up some vanilla wafers. That's just so cute. So here's the layer, final layer of strawberries. And so, if you want to top it off, what we're going to do is add some vanilla. Yeah, we're gonna crunch up some vanilla wafers. Just crush them up. Yeah, put them in the bowl. We can just do it the old fashioned way. Oh. It's gonna buzz. Don't hit it like that. It's not gonna buzz. Oh. <laughs> Just get the ones that's not 
toothbrush. Come on, look. I'm filming you. Oh, you can test it out right now. Oh, let me dip it. Let me get a little dipped. That's not the thing. Yeah, it is. 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 Yeah, it